Here I will briefly demonstrate how to remove several different types of keys and hinges. So I'll start by placing my finger underneath the upper corner, gently pull out the key, and I'll use my finger to keep the, the hinge in place and gently slide my knife underneath the lower center and gently pull up and the hinge comes off intact. Then I'll grab my hinge, place it right behind the key and snap it into place. So that's one time. Here is a different, very, very common type of hinge. And the process is quite similar in the sense that I will place my finger underneath one of the corners, pull up, use one of my fingers to keep the hinge in place, and place my knife below the lower center and gently pull up. And the hinge, once again, comes right off. Here it is. Place it right behind the key and snap it into place. Moving, moving on to a different hinge style. Once again, place my finger underneath one of the corners and this process will vary. For some of them, it's on the lower corner and for this one, I'll place it below the upper right corner. Comes right off. Grab my knife and hold the hinge with one finger and I will gently try and squeeze out this small plastic tab. And it gently comes out. Hinge is intact. Place it right behind the key. Snaps into place. Once again, finger underneath the upper corner. Comes right off. Hold the hinge. Use my knife to get underneath the lower center and push up. So some of them require a little more work because they have a tighter fitment such, such as this one and usually they will not break so you can apply a little bit of pressure to them. Here's the hinge, place it right behind the key. And for some of them, it is quite difficult to simply get your finger underneath one of the corners. So what I do is I use the knife or my sharp object to get underneath one of the corners. Gently lift it up just enough to get my finger. And then I can pry it out like I normally do. Then I use my knife to pry out one of the corners. It's out. So this keyboard does have two different types of hinge. So might as well demonstrate the other one. There we go. So for this one, I'll hold the um, top center and slide my knife. Actually, it's better if I hold the lower center and gently pry out the upper corners. There's one corner. So for this one, 
This is how I would do it. Turn the keyboard over. Keep holding it and gently pry out the other corner. And now the hinge is ready to be removed without being bro getting broken or anything.